When completing an implicit differentiation problem, the first thing you want to do is make note of any term that has a y in it. So when you do the derivative of y, you have to be very careful because you do the derivative of y, but you also have to then write dy um, dx. So that's what you're finding. So looking at here, if I'm going to take the derivative with respect to x, so in the first function, I have a product function. So this would be the derivative of the first function, hold the second one. So this is going to be the derivative of 3x, which is 3, hold y, plus the derivative of the second function, hold the first function. So I hold 3y. The derivative of y is dy over dx. That's what I'm trying to solve for. The second term is a little more complicated because it's dealing with fraction exponents, but the same concept, um, they take the derivative of x to the 3 halves, so that's going to be plus 3 over 2 x to the 1 half, hold the y function, y to the minus 1 half, plus hold the x function, x to the 3 over 2, times the derivative of the y function, in this case, minus 1 half y to the minus 3 over 2 times dy over dx. Now this is the probably the most important part that students forget is when they take the derivative of y, y is a function of x. So you take the derivative of the outside, evaluate it at the inside, times the derivative of the inside. And the derivative of the inside here is dy over dx. So this dy over dx is a very important part. That is what we're solving for, equals the derivative of 4, which is 0. So at this point, the rest is algebra. I'm going to solve for, I'm going to group my dy, my terms with my dy over dx in them on one side of the equation, put everything else on the other, and then factor out my dy over dx. So I would subtract the 3y from this side and minus 3 over 2 x the 1 half y the minus 1 half. So over here I'd have a minus 3 y and a minus 3 over 2 x the 1 half y the minus 1 half. So this is looking a little complicated, but keep in mind at the very end you're just going to plug in x is 1 and y is 1. So let's see if I can get this to go to 1 half. Um, factoring out the dy over dx, I'm left with a 3x minus a 1 half x to the 3 over 2, y to the minus 3 over 2, and then I'm going to divide through both sides by that term, and I'm going to get dy over dx by itself. So hopefully that kind of explains what's going on there. This one is a little more tedious because the fraction exponents but um, the concept's the same. Take the derivative of the first function, hold the second one plus the derivative of the second one. If any of the functions deal with a y, when you take the derivative of the y, you have to take the derivative of the outside, evaluate it at the inside, times the derivative of the inside. That's that dy over dx.